Climate change is already robbing them of groundwater. Perth's groundwater supply is drying up. Water levels are at 10 to 15 percent. Water scarcity is a growing problem. The water shortage has become a never-ending issue. But the water levels here in Lake Mead have fallen 130 feet. Now I know a lot of you must have clicked on this video thinking you will be getting some challenge of the day or a social media trend which you can use for your TikToks and your Instagram Reels. But I assure you, by the end of this video, you will have about two challenges which you can use for your social media TikToks and your Reels and your various posts and at the same time, save water on this planet. Namaskar Aishtana. My name is Zevi and today we are going to talk about water management. Now, before we get down to the challenges, it is very important to know how severe the water shortages are all around the world. In Brazil, the dam levels were just 20% in 2021. Rio de Janeiro is constantly facing water shortages. 65% of the electricity in Brazil is generated from hydro power. But due to water shortages, the power generation capacity has gone down and the electricity bills have gone up by 130%. 25% of Brazil's GDP is dependent on agriculture and if tomorrow there is no water, 25% of that GDP will be completely wiped out. One third of the world's coffee exports come from Brazil and due to water shortages, the coffee prices have risen by 30%. So you know, your coffee is set to get more and more expensive due to less water. In India, the southern city of Chennai receives 2x the amount of rainfall as compared to London and 4x the amount of rainfall when compared to Los Angeles. But in 2019, Chennai faced a day zero situation. Day zero is a situation when authorities of a city are unable to provide enough water for its residents. The Pundi Dam, which is close to Chennai, ran dry during this spell of 2019, but it was covered with floods in 2021. However, we don't know whether that water will last this year. As per predictions, if India goes about its business as is, by 2030, 50% of the drinking water will be over. You know what that means? It means that either you or one of your family members is not going to have water to drink beyond 2030. In America, the Hoover Dam has been a symbol of pop culture and has been storing the Colorado River water since 1935. But in 2021, its levels were just at 37%. The electricity generated by the Hoover Dam has reduced by 25% and it is said to reduce year on year. It is estimated that 40 out of 50 states in America are facing water shortages of some or the other kind. And in the Western states, it is more and more intense. And don't even get me started about mandatory water cuts. Mandatory water cuts are a reality in some of the American states as of now, but it can be tomorrow's reality all throughout America. In Spain, Barcelona ran out of water not today, but way long back in 2008. It is reported that the Iberian Peninsula in Spain is facing droughts year on year. And because of that, the prices of produce are set to rise all throughout Europe. So that means Europe, your vegetables are set to get more and more expensive year on year because of water shortage. Now, when you come to Australia, the problems get magnified tenfold because already Australia is such a dry continent. In 2019, basically, the Murray-Darling water basin just collapsed because of the water crisis. Wivenho Dam has been facing shortages for many years. The dam was just at 36% capacity in 2021, but this year, it looks like it is facing floods. And this is a problem faced by all dams throughout the world. May it be Germany, India, Australia, or Spain. These dams do get floods every now and then. 
but by the next year the water is over the reason being that people like you and i are not using our water properly so what can you do well you can go and protest to your authorities and tell them to give you better dams and infrastructure but you see guys making new dams and infrastructure requires a lot of money time and political will this may sometimes look like a wasted effort and that is why i want to give you these two challenges because these challenges work on a personal level it requires the collective will of all of us to try together and save water and before we go to the challenges i don't even want to get started about the water scarcity crisis in the middle east and in africa i would let it be as a homework to you guys to tell me in the comments what are the figures and what is the extent of water scarcity in the middle east and in africa so the first challenge i have for you among the two is known as the bucket bath challenge according to the bucket bath challenge instead of using a shower head for your showers you are supposed to use a bucket and a tumbler to have your shower this bucket should be between 15 and 20 liters and you should finish your shower within these 20 liters plus size people you can use 30 liters bucket you can however continue to use your shower head for your showers only and only if you have a low flow shower head and you finish your shower within 5 minutes out of which to lather up and use the soap you turn off your shower then only you can pass this challenge so according to the bucket bath challenge you can use a bucket like this which is of 20 liters or 15 liters and use a mug or a tumbler whatever you call this and basically collect water hot cold whatever in your bucket use this to have a shower if however you don't have a bucket or don't want to use a bucket you can continue to use a shower but it has to be a low intensity shower and you have to be finished within 5 minutes so then what is the tap dj challenge well you must have heard that you should turn off the tap while brushing your teeth i think that is ancient history you have to obviously continue to do that but as per the tap dj challenge you have to micromanage the way you turn on and turn off the tap basically i would suggest you to keep one hand on the tap and use the other hand to splash water on your face clean it use soap for lathering or whatever or cleaning whatever object you want turn on and turn off the tap using your other hand so guys i have come here to explain a bit about the tap dj challenge and like you can see here i was explaining in the video before you are supposed to keep one hand on your tap and basically turn it on and off and you take water on your second hand and you can take that water and splash it on your face wash your any object which is dirty or do any of your chores but it's important to keep one of your hands on to the tap and keep it continuously on and off so when you take the water and you basically splash the water on your face the water the tap should go off immediately by the while you are splashing the water on your face and when you are taking water again you turn on the tap just before you are going to splash it on your face turn off the tap and splash it on your face and basically try to increase the efficiency as much as possible during this challenge so guys you can think how much impact this can have on the storage that is there in various dams if you multiply this action the multiply by the number of times you use the tap multiply the number of houses in your city multiply the 
number of cities that are dependent on your local dam and think just imagine how much water saving you can do so i would urge all of you people to do your tiktoks reels remixes and have fun with this challenge but it's very important to not waste water while doing your challenges so basically you can turn off the inlet to your tap and turn on and off your tap as much as possible for your challenges basically we want to micromanage the turning on and off of taps all around the world so that we can save water efficiently maybe you can consider it like the six sigma in the industry you continue to increase the efficiency of an overall system in this place the entire infrastructure of water management by using minute minute steps which is on and off the taps in your house now what is not allowed as per the bucket bath challenge and the tap dj challenge basically the ice bucket challenge which was done a few years ago in some ways is anti bucket bath challenge if you use your ice bucket challenge on a lawn which has not been watered or somewhere where the water can be reused it is okay to do the ice bucket challenge again but i would suggest you not to do that instead go and donate to the als institute which will help people who have the als condition and instead of that you continue to do the bucket bath challenge and reuse your water wherever possible sitting in the bucket like shown over here is totally not allowed because once you sit in the bucket there is a very high possibility that you will break the plastic bucket now while doing the bucket bath challenge we do not in any way want to break buckets and cause more plastic pollution because already plastic is a problem today and we do not want to create any more problems by creating broken plastic buckets it is also not correct to destroy buckets in any form in the name of the bucket bath challenge if you do that you will fail the bucket bath challenge it does not mean that you cannot use your swimming pool here and there you can use the swimming pool in these summer days but please try to recycle your water in your swimming pool and possibly reuse the water in portable swimming pools somewhere like watering the plants or something else there is a high probability that people may just go and crazy buy out plastic buckets and tumblers so i would want to tell you please do not do that if possible if you already have a plastic bucket and a tumbler use it if you have a steel trough or something like that you can use that also people who use a bath tub you can still continue to use a bath tub on the condition that you will reuse that water somewhere or the other either in the commode or for watering plants or somewhere else now i am not a sadistic person who is telling you forever to use a bucket and a tumbler for your showers you can once a week try to use a shower or a bath tub and relax but an important thing is to time your days it may happen that everybody in your city or everywhere in the world may think to use the bath tub or a shower head just on the weekends and that will stress the authorities and the infrastructure of dams so instead of that try to randomly choose a day and use your bath tub and your shower head on that day also it is not allowed in the name of the tap dj challenge to turn on and off taps on rhythms of various songs turn off the source of the tap before using your songs for your reels and tiktoks so that it will save a lot of water it can be a good idea to tell on your parents your kids or your siblings as part of the tap dj challenge those who waste a lot of water and you can use this as an opportunity to make your tiktoks and reels but try to make it more sporting and not insulting to the person there is the jamie horse challenge nowadays which is gaining a lot of popularity see 
It is important that we give Jamie a lot of coverage and attention. But please, from your end, whenever you are trying to remix his TikTok or reel, please try not to turn on your tap of your sink. You can keep whatever object you want in your sink, but please do not turn on your tap. If you turn on your tap, you will basically fail the tap DJ challenge. Also, it is important to not intentionally tell people to turn on the tap and try to fool them into failing the tap DJ challenge. If you do that, you will basically fail the tap DJ challenge and basically it will create a lot of wastage of water, which is counterintuitive to the reason these challenges are made for. You will also fail the bucket bath challenge if you use a stupidly large big bucket. Like I said, 20 liters is the maximum for a normal average size person and 30 liters is for a plus size person. If you go beyond that, like using a JCB, a huge God knows trough or something like that in the name of the bucket bath challenge, you will fail the challenge. Let's try to continue to do these two challenges till the end of June and possibly till the end of July also because in a lot of countries the dry months will be there till that time. So if we continue to do these challenges, let civic authorities come back and tell us at the end of June or July to know whether these challenges have helped to save water and most probably I think they would have. So how do you nominate people for the bucket bath challenge and the tap DJ challenge? It's very simple. You basically go to your various social media and say, I nominate so and so for the bucket bath challenge and or the tap DJ challenge and add a link to this video in your post so that the people know how to do the bucket bath challenge and the tap DJ challenge. Basically, if it was in my power, I would have nominated Robert Downey Jr., Scarlett Johansson, Dwayne Johnson, Anne Hathaway, Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, Tim Cook, Amitabh Bachchan, Rajni Kant, MS Dhoni, Cristiano Ronaldo, Messi, Narendra Modi, Barack Obama, and Jacinta Arden. But most probably, none of these people will ever see this video. So it is up to you and me to carry on this good work and create some positivity in the world by saving our planet's water. And thus, I try to nominate you for this bucket bath challenge and the tap DJ challenge. I hope that you try to continue this journey of saving water and add more and more people to it. And with that, I would like to thank you for seeing this video. But before you go, I would like to request you to try to have a look at my t-shirt designs, which you may like. And also you may find something related to the bucket bath challenge and the tap DJ challenge in my Shopify store. Try to give my Shopify store a look and see if you, something interests you. Also, apart from that, you can try and donate to me using various methods listed on my website. They can be by bank transfer, PayPal, UPI or by crypto. Link in the description below. I would also like to tell you that I am on a mission to gain 1 million subscribers. So if it does not hurt you, then please try to press that subscribe button. With that, I would like to take your leave. Goodbye.